Good evening, tipsiers. Ranger Dave coming at you from almost 7,000 feet of elevation here outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. I just got home from working out. I look a little rough, but not near as rough as I look in tonight's video. You are in for a treat. We're featuring two segments of the Colorado Trail, Collegiate West 1 and Collegiate West 2. And then we have a twofer for tastings. The first of which is Epic Day Double IPA from Eddie Lime Brewing outside of Buena Vista, not Buena, Buena Vista, Colorado. And then we have 10th Mountain Rye Whiskey out of Vail, Colorado. Sit back, relax. Let's pop open that cold one. Let's get to work. So quick reminder, smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy hiking, camping, or just simply enjoy trying new adult beverages. Also be sure to check out the description. We're gonna have great information on the brewery and distillery feature tonight, but also a ton of great trail information. You're going to need it if you're gonna tackle Collegiate West 1 and 2. So let's talk about Collegiate West 1 and 2 of the Colorado Trail. Really quick, Collegiate West 1 starts on the southern shoreline of Twin Lakes. That is my favorite dispersed camping site in the entire state of Colorado. It's also featured in our last video where we hiked segments 9, 10, and 11. Check that out. A lot of great information there. This is also the, the segment of the trail where you have to decide, do you want to go Collegiate East or Collegiate West? We obviously went West. Um, I would encourage that. I think the, the views tell the story as to why we made that decision, and we certainly don't regret it. Collegiate West 1 is actually the shortest segment of the entire Colorado Trail. It's 9.8 miles long. Don't let that fool you. It features possibly the toughest climb of the entire trail up and over Hope Pass. Many hikers have told me that. I didn't necessarily believe it. I believe it now. It is beautiful. It is stunning. It is tough. Take your time going up. However, you are rewarded as you go up the trail. So it's beautiful all the way up, but what it really features is the opportunity for a great one night, two day hike to get up and over the pass. There is a campsite, probably 600 feet of elevation before the summit of Hope Pass, which is spectacular. You'll see what I'm talking about. Amazing opportunity. Make sure you are in shape and take your time up and over Hope Pass. After getting up and over Hope Pass and feeling like you just got kicked in the no-no square, you are treated to an ass-whipping of a hike on Collegiate West 2. So Collegiate West 2 is one of the longer segments, 25.8 miles. Starts off simple enough, rolling hills, rolling terrain, um, some creeks, it's, it's pretty. But then you get to Lake Ann and Lake Ann Pass. First, the bad news. Lake Ann Pass, mile for mile, is just right behind Hope Pass. It is tough and it gets sketchy in areas. Be prepared for that, take your time. Make sure you're eating something and your energy levels are up so you can focus. Lake Ann, though, offers a unique opportunity for dispersed camping. Um, it's, it's amazing. The views are amazing. Um, it's not too tough to get to. It's about eight and a half miles from the beginning of Collegiate West 2. So you could park there, hike in and camp, um, and then hike back. After the climb over Lake Ann Pass, you're treated later on in Collegiate West 2 with another great climb up Cottonwood Pass. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I know you're tired of me saying it. Get your backpack on. Go, to, go experience it. It is worth it. What's really cool about Cottonwood Pass is you can actually drive to the top and park and walk around. There's some really scenic views. There's a little pond. It's great. If you're ever in the Buena Vista area, take 30 minutes, drive up there. It's really during summer months. They close down the pass, I think, after Labor Day, and they open it around Memorial Day. So just, just be aware of that. It is worth your time. I'm going to stop telling you how beautiful it is because I'm gonna let the video do the talking. Let's talk about some adult beverages now. So tonight's first featured adult beverage is Epic Day Double IPA out of Buena Vista, Colorado. Quick facts about Eddie Line. First, they have two restaurants and tasting rooms. Highly recommend them in Buena Vista. One is close to the Arkansas River. It's gorgeous. The food is great, the beer is great. They usually have some offerings you normally can't find in the store. Um, there's usually a wait to get in. That's a sign of a good restaurant. Check them out, they are great. The other thing I love about them, these are Ranger Dave size cans. These aren't 12 ounce cans. They're all 16 ounce cans. That's what I'm talking about. Um, they make a lot of great offerings. They'll make the other videos. Um, but hey, epic day on a hike like this, that just made absolute sense. And it's one of my favorite double IPAs. Tonight's second featured adult beverage is this little guy right here. 10th Mountain Rye Whiskey out of Vail, Colorado. They have a really interesting story. So they're named after the 10th Mountain Division that was based at Camp Hale during World War II. So going back to 1942, we had units stationed near Leadville, Colorado, learning about mountain warfare. They actually got deployed to Italy and fought the Germans. 
Um, so really interesting local history with the, the distillery, and it's named after the brave men and women who fought. They have a lot of really great offerings. Uh, they have a bourbon. They even have a potato vodka. Tonight we're featuring their rye whiskey. Solid offerings. Really cool tasting room if you ever make your way to Vail. Enough chit chat, let's get to the views, let's get to the tastings, that's what you're here for. Speaking of views, um, while I look oh so pretty right now, for some reason on this hike, my complexion, I look like an avocado on the side of the mountain, which just makes it so much better. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy the hike and I hope you're living life long, loose and full of juice. We made it to Interlaken Trailhead, so the beginning of Collegiate West or East. Had a little, I guess, brunch in us. Uh, late breakfast, early lunch at Poncho's. Great place, quick food, very greasy, just what you need. We are gearing up right now and uh, should be on the trail shortly. Might take a side trip to, uh, um, Scott, what is that? Interlaken? Yeah, the, uh, the old lake house. Old lake house. So we don't have a, a huge day of hiking, so we might just make a side jaunt over there. Otherwise, we'll take some shots on the way. First few miles, pretty flat. And then we're going to start the climb. And uh, I, I mentioned in an earlier video, segment four had the beast. This is the, the OG beast. Hope Pass, widely considered to be the, the toughest part of the trail. We're going to hike up part of it today in camp and then hike up the rest tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, we will uh, we'll be breathing hard by dinner time. So uh, looking forward to it and just enjoy the views. So started on the ascent, we, we've gone maybe a few hundred feet up in elevation. Not too bad yet, um, but there's this huge creek running beside us. It's just roaring. It's just beautiful out. It's actually cooled the temperature down just a little bit. Earlier it was hot. Um, exposure, um, not, not very much tree cover, and the sun was beating down on us. Um, so this is welcome. So we're at about 11.9. Again, hope I never have to go over Hope Pass. It has been tough, but the views, oh my goodness. We've broken tree line. There is an alpine lake behind me. I'll take some shots of it. Um, that is a potential campsite. We're kind of having a debate on do we want to camp here. It's before five and the pass is, is less than a mile away and it's going to be tough, but you know, we got to go over it anyway. So a little bit of a debate. Debate. I might have been called a bitch for kind of leaning toward camping here. So I could be coerced into going over the pass. But oh, take a look at these views. It's amazing. It's totally worth the hike.
Well, we decided to make camp. Um, we were tired, exhausted even. Um, there's a beautiful alpine lake, got some footage of it. So we have a great water source, views are great, and quite frankly, we, we were just tired. So we set up camp, uh, a few bugs up here, maybe more than a few, um, but uh, just had some delicious, um, allegedly mountain lasagna from ReadyWise. Um, can't say I'd recommend it. It tasted like it had real pieces of mountain in it. But in any event, we're gonna go to bed in a little bit. Uh, might have a little dessert and uh, get a good night's sleep. So tomorrow, we're, we're actually almost on, all the way to Hope Pass, um, over 80% of the way. We have less than 600 feet of elevation gain, 0.7 miles. Um, so we're gonna earn it, but uh, we should be able to knock it out fairly quickly. And then at the top, gonna have a beer, breakfast beer. Then tomorrow night, we're gonna have our, our featured featured drink, which is a, a whiskey, 10th Mountain Division rye whiskey. Um, otherwise, just gonna rest. Um, we earned it today, and I bet we earn it tomorrow as well. 